Hey, if you've been on Twitter.com recently, you might have came across this insufferable video. Rules for picking up women in clubs, rule number five. Always have a reason to bring her home. And once you guys are at the point of making out at the club and things are really getting hot and heavy, I always have a reason. Like for me, it's like, hey, I got a dog at home. His name's Max. He's super cute. You should meet him. They always want to meet him. Or I'll say, oh, I have Mario Kart. And every girl, for some reason, every girl under the age of 25 is like, oh, I'll kick your ass in Mario Kart. Oh, yeah? Prove it. <laughs> We've never once played Mario Kart. Not once. And sometimes I would be like unsure, like, oh, I don't know or whatever. And you go, oh, yeah, no, I have to work in the morning anyways. You can't stay or anything. You're just going to meet Max and you got to get going. Or we're going to play one round of Mario Kart and then you got to get going. Remember, I've never played Mario Kart with a girl. Not once. <laughs> so always have a plan. Remember, a confident man has a plan. A cocky man doesn't think he needs one. Almost forgot to do the thread. Uh, Theory Sue, Hyper Tailored, as you can see. Uh, Balenciaga, Prada, Burberry, Burberry, uh, Prada. Respect the drip. This video becomes more painful to watch every time you see it. Where do I even begin with that? First of all, who let Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, on TikTok? I thought he was busy being a slumlord, throwing families on the streets during these difficult times. I don't even know, but recently this guy's been getting a lot of attention on Twitter due to that TikTok going viral on Twitter. His name is Russell Hartley, and apparently he's a dating coach because that's exactly what the world needs right now more dating coaches. How are dating coaches in business in the middle of a global pandemic? And unless you're Ed from 90 Day Fiance, I, I don't think you need to be coached to find the love of your life. I just can't see that being a lasting relationship since as soon as the dating coach is out, I feel like that relationship might start to crumble. But I can't really speak too much on that because I have zero experience with a dating coach. Anyway, I guess from the, the kindness of his heart, uh, Russell decided to go on to TikTok and share a bunch of advice. You know, share some free dating advice on TikTok. What could go wrong? Here's another one of his infamous TikToks. A shocker that when girls drink, they start to really loosen up. I mean, the next thing you know, they're dancing like strippers or they're making out with each other. And I spied on the other side of the table a blonde Asian girl with fake cherries <laughs> making out with one of her friends. And I'm like, perfect. And a six foot one well-dressed white guy hitting on a blazion is like shooting with a handicap. I mean, it's child play. Wow, you know Jared Kushner's twin has been reading the Bible of misogyny. I bet you his main playlist only has music from the artist Future in it. Hannah, do you think he went to CU Boulder, U of A, or Penn State? I, I can't tell. Maybe ASU. Probably was on the rowing team at Yale. I don't know, but from what I've seen, most of his content seems to be try-hard offensive. I would argue and say he is relevant because he has the opposite opinion from the average Twitter.com user. So therefore, people kind of made him viral by trying to cancel him. So the irony of Twitter hating it yet spreading it is kind of funny. But another consistent here is the dude's always wearing a suit. I think he watched How I Met Your Mother once and realized, hey, might as well live my life as Barney Stinson. But how did this dude get the money to afford everything he's talking about? That's that's the main question I see everyone asking in his comments. Well, good thing he made multiple TikToks about it. What it's like working a corporate job, part one. So for those of you who are new here, I used to work at a corporate company called Northrop Grumman. It's a big, I think they were Fortune 48 at the time. And I'm gonna share with you my experiences in working in corporate America. And this particular company is even more American than your standard American enterprise because I mean, it's a defense organization. They make weapons for the government and other governments. But I digress. My point is, is there's an extra dose of freedom. I graduated college with a degree in mathematics. So for me, going into a corporate environment, especially an engineering firm, was sort of par for the course. It's pretty natural. I mean, I did basically what my parents told me to do. Go to college, get a job. And that's exactly what I did. And it came with some pretty big perks. I was working at a government-funded corporation on a cost-plus program. I mean, I was making like six figures since I was 24, and I was living in Los Angeles. So I'd work during the day and then go out and get girls at night, as one does. My point is that at the beginning, it was pretty great. I mean, for me, where I'm from, people were like, wow, bro, you made it. But you soon realize it's not great. Why am I not surprised you work for a defense contract company. Wow, a soulless person works for a soulless company in a soulless industry. Are we surprised? Not really. I guess Jared Kushner's twin isn't too far away from Jared Kushner himself. He also made a five part series on TikTok on how he automated his corporate defense contracting job. So if you guys don't hate him enough yet, he might have automated something for his defense contract company so they can efficiently sell way more weapons. And this is what he decided to do with his new free time. Stunning conclusion to how I automated my job and created passive income. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, the company would probably want you to be doing other things and all this. Nope. My process that I was spearheading was saving so much money by reducing all these little paperwork tasks across the board. We were literally saving millions a year. It was crazy. So my company didn't give a shit. They were just like, you know what? Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm like, okay. And some of you might go, well, did you use that time wisely? Did you like invest? Did you build a side project and all this stuff? Nope. 
basically, I spent that whole time picking up women. I mean, I'm a young guy in LA. My job was completely automated. I was doing great. And women can really waste your time. I'm looking at you, TikTok. This guy annoys me because he's smart, but not wise. He's smart enough to create a macro that automates his job, but not wise enough to value his time, hence why he most likely has wasted most of his 20s chasing women and awkwardly reverse engineering the average LA nightclubbing girl. And now he might just be trying to profit off of his wasted time, branding it as experience. Wow. I don't know. It sounds a bit sociopathic to me. But Jared Kushner's twin here, his content has came under fire over the past few weeks on the internet, most notably from Curtis Connor. Curtis made a video on him which started some lighthearted beef, and seeing Curtis and a bunch of other creators make content on him, I guess he decided to respond to all of that. However, the second video he uploaded to YouTube is what really confused people, because it was a, uh, it's a Reddit reaction video. He's literally just reacting to some other video on r slash nice guys. Okay, so he started his channel. His first video was responding to Curtis Connor and so on. His second video, people were expecting him to do something similar to what he was doing on TikTok. I don't know, just start making, instead of making five parts on TikTok, sit down and make one YouTube video as all five parts into one YouTube video. I don't know, that would make sense. Instead, we got this. Bro, we don't need another R slash. We don't need another MK. I mean, you clearly found a niche for toll on Twitter giving really bad dating advice. So why aren't you just continuing that? So apparently that's what Jared Kushner's lost twin has been up to recently. He's now a dating coach and Reddit video creator. Nice. Would you like to talk on the phone sometime? You don't start the conversation asking for a phone. Sorry, I don't give out yeah, my guys. number a lot. Video and chat. Straight for video chat. Definitely not. No again, so he just attacks her. It's horrible. LOL? Horrible. Okay. Hard to get, uh, princess. You sorry. can play with someone else. Good luck. Aw, thanks. So sweet of you. Out of interest, why do you never reply to me? Dude, this is the 23rd. Oh my god. 23rd account? Now you've made after me repeatedly blocking you. This is really creepy. No, it ain't. Dude, I am asking you why you hate me. I wouldn't... Uh, see, if you haven't explained yourself like this, it's over. It's been over. Keep making accounts if people stop being rude and banning me. All I want oh is God. mates or serious relationships. I don't get why you hate me. I am a decent, loyal, kind lad. Yep, so apparently that's what Jared's twin has been up to as of recently. He's a dating coach and Reddit video reactor. Sick. But anyway, guys, I'll be ending the video here. What are your guys' thoughts on this man? Is he trash or do you think he's just being misunderstood? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Got me like I'm barely sober. Slip right past like I barely know ya. Whip so fast like I whip Daytona. Got a bitch so bad that she grip my shoulder. Life flips so fast like a roller coaster. Shit not sweet like a cherry soda. Kid on switch like a new persona. Fucked up, wouldn't do shit over. Move past looking at the upside. Late night and she called me.